Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to take a look at exponential and logarithmic form. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, in order to understand this, we're going to start with the principle or the, or the main idea and then go into examples. In this particular instance, I think it's easier that way. So, when you have logarithmic form, <laughs> excuse me, you have to have the following. You have y equals whatever the log is, whatever the base is, that's going to be a in our example and then the x right here. That is very, very common, and this is logarithmic form. Now, exponential form is, of course, when you, eventually you have your x, whatever it's going to be, and then you have your base a, and then you have your exponent y. This is how it works. Now, you can see that there's a lot of connections between these two. So, for example, I have a y up here, so when my y, it becomes my number to the left to the equal sign here, and then my base, it goes down here and means like this little subset here, and then oh my x, oh that, that just becomes this number right here. So you can see that there's a connection. However, it's very easy to get very confused because you just have a bunch of numbers there and it's very easy to get turned around and, and spun upside down and backwards for students. And so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna do two examples where we go from, from exponential form to logarithmic form and then we will do two examples where we go from logarithmic form to exponential form. So let's go ahead and see if we can make this work here. All right. So let's just say you have the following. You have the number 9. And of course, you know, what's squared for that? We're going, remember, we're going from exponential to logarithmic. It's going to equal 3 squared. So we know here. So this is what we have. Let's see if we can pull this apart here. So we're using uh, this example right here. So our y is going to be 2. So this is going to be our y right here. The a, I'm sorry, the 3 is going to be our a. And the 9 is going to be our x. Now, if we convert this to, remember, remember we're going to logarithmic form. We're going to this example right over here. If we convert this to logarithmic form, we should get something like this. So let's see here, log. And then let's see here, my base is going to be 3, so that, or the subset, whatever that's called. And then let's see here, we got the x here, so that's going to be 9. All right, and all this is going to equal 2, because that's my y. And so you can check this if you desire in a calculator. Um, but that's how it works. And you can, you can see how it's easy to get turned around. So this is how you do it. Now let's do one more example where we go from exponential to logarithmic form. But this time we're going to do a fraction. So just change out my color here. Oh, let me do the white first. So here we go. Imagine we have the following. 1 over 3 raised to x equals 1 over 27. Now they're trying to trick you a little bit here. They put the exponent on the left-hand side. To, now, again, for those of you who are comfortable with math, this is not even a big deal. But for, for a student, like a high school student, this might be somewhat confusing. So now we want to convert this. So we know that it's going to be log something. Let's see here. So I got this. So this the x is going to be like my y in this example. And the 1 over 3 is going to be my a. And then this 1 over 27 is going to be my x. All right. So following that, I should have log, let's see here, 1 over 3 should be like the thing right here at the bottom, uh, and then 1 over 27 is going to be right here, and it should equal x, like so. So you can see how this just gets pretty wild at times, uh, as you can see here, um, all these different things that are going on at the, at the same time. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at two more examples. This time, we're going from logarithmic form to exponential form. So first, I'm just going to rewrite my general uh, equations for this, our expressions for this. Uh, and then, oops, x equals a to the y power like so. OK, so here we go. This time, we're going from logarithmic form to exponential form. So here's what we got. We're going to have first. 3 equals, that's the wrong color, 3 equals, put it up higher, 3 equals log 464, like so. Now we want to convert that to exponential form. So here's what we do. 
Well, let's see here. The 4 is going to be my A. The 64 is going to be my X. And the 3 is going to be my Y. All right. So for my X, looks like that's going to be... That's going to be 64. And so now my A is going to be 4. And my Y is going to be to the third power. So in other words, if I... Cube 4, I should get 64. You can, you can check that on the calculator. It's very clear. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4, yeah, that's definitely 64. All right. So let's do another one. And this will be our last example in this particular video. So now we're going to work with negative numbers and fractions at the same time. And we're going from logarithmic form to exponential form. So looks like we got negative 2 log base 10, natural log, if you will. 1 over 100 here. Now let's just go by what we have like normal. So go ahead and we're going to convert this. Use the arrow here. So it looks like our A is going to be 10. Our X is going to be this 1 over 100. And our Y is going to be this negative 2 over here. So, so for my X, it looks like I'm going to have 1 over 100 equals. So my A is going to be 10. And my y is going to be negative 2. And again, you know, you can check that and you can see. So when you're trying to go from exponential to logarithmic form or logarithmic form to exponential form, you just have to be careful. It's very easy to get confused. I remember having a lot of challenges trying to keep all the numbers straight because you're just rearranging stuff. Got to be very, very careful. But before I wrap up, let me go ahead and explain what happened in this video, and then I will conclude. So in this video, we learned about how to go from logarithmic uh, how to convert from exponential to logarithmic form and back forth back, vice versa and so what you have to keep in mind is the relationship between the terms and these two expressions here so wherever you see the a at make sure you move it to the appropriate place the x etc the y and all that and it's simply a matter of just rearranging the numbers there's really no calculation necessary it's just about knowing where to put the numbers in the right place so on this screen we went from exponential form to logarithmic form. And you can see right here what happened here. And then on the second screen, we went from logarithmic form to exponential form. And again, it's there. this entire video, there was no calculating at all. It was simply rearranging numbers and putting them in the appropriate space to get the equivalent form. That's it. So my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.